You have the Samsung Galaxy. This is the A03S. You've had it for a little while. It might be starting to run a little slow, and you want it to run faster like it did when you first got it, or even faster than that. There are two ways. One is easy. One you might already know about, and I'll remind you of it if you don't already know about it. It's something that's inside the phone, the own, its own functionality, and you just push a few buttons and your phone checks itself. The other one, we're going to go deep into the software of the phone. It's going to feel a little intimidating, but follow step by step. We'll make a few changes, and you will see with your own eyes. We'll compare the AO3S to S10e, and you can see, for, or is this S10... Yeah, I said that right, S10e. And you can see with your own eyes how the phone how will make the A03s run faster. You'll see with your own eyes. And then if you stick around, you don't like how the how those changes make your phone run, I'll show you how to change them back. So let's get started. So the easy one that you might be aware of that works on your phone automatically, go into settings. We're going to scroll down until we see battery and device care. Inside battery and device care, here is the software that just, uh, you know, hit that for optimize now. And it's going to look at your phone and it's going to check a handful of things and help your phone run faster. Inside here, there's still a few more things you can do. You can touch storage. And if you f use your phone a lot, oh, I'm going to allow. If you use your phone a lot, you take pictures, you make a few things. See to turn on. Uh, I'm not going to do this right now. There's a few things to keep in mind inside storage, and the first one is always trash. So if you take pictures, make videos, and then discard them or documents, they're going to show up here, and they start taking up room. So you can touch gallery, you can touch edit, you can select all, and you can delete all, and that will free up space on your phone. Okay, now let's back out one time, back out second time, and now inside the device care, let's go to memory. So touch memory one time. And if you're using your phone a lot with a lot of different apps, it's going to start storing up your memory kind of in the background and make your phone run a degree slower. So there's 446 megabytes of memory. Let's clean that. And it'll tell us what it's closing for us. We, we haven't opened the calendar. We don't need that. All right, and that's the easy way. You don't have to make any sort of changes. If that's all you want to learn, fantastic. Thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Now, if you want to get into the guts of the phone, into the software of the phone, again, it's going to feel a little intimidating, but follow along. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, again, we're going to go to settings. Inside settings, we're going to scroll all the way down to about phone. Inside about phone, we're going to look for this soft... Let me do that again so that it doesn't... So we're going to make sure that's lit up what we need. Okay, so inside about phone, go to software information. Inside software information, what we want is this one right here, build number. We're going to touch build number seven times. That was one, two, three, four. You should get a message showing up. Five, six, seven times developer mode has been turned on if you don't see that message you haven't touched it enough times or it's already on so let's back out of here one time back out of here one more time and now when we go to about phone go one more below that there are developer options let's touch the developer options by default it's on okay i'm going to turn it off and then turn it on so we can read the warning Allow development settings. These settings are intended for development use only. They can cause your device and the applications on it to break or misbehave. Click OK. And now, with that in mind, we go over those warnings because don't touch anything accidentally. If you touch something accidentally that you don't understand, cancel, back out of it, back out of it. All right. So now let's move on with the settings that we want to change to make our phone faster. We're looking for a heading cold drawing. See how that one right there says networking? We're looking for the one that says drawing. Input and after input is drawing. All right, here are the three that we want. Windows animation scale, transition animation scale, animator duration scale. Keep in mind the default is 1x and we'll want that number in case we want to set it back. You know how you don't like how the phone works. To change it, all we do is touch it one time. And some people say put it on 0.5. The bigger numbers makes your phone run very slow. 
0.5 makes it a little faster. I like to turn them off. Transition animation scale, off. Animator duration scale, off. And we're done. Let's go back to home. And now let's compare. And you see with your own eyes what happens when I bring up the dialer. That wasn't a really good example. This one blinks on. This one grows. It animates out of its icon. Let's close it. Watch, watch with your own eyes. Blinks off. This one closes. Let's do it one more time. There it goes. Blinks on, blinks off. This one grows, animates out of its icon, animates back down. Let's do Messenger. Blinks on, blinks off. Blinks on, blinks off. This one animates slowly. One more, let's do Camera. Cancel, let's close camera, let's do it one more time. Oh, you see how quick that just goes, boom. Camera. I'm gonna take pictures of some wood grain and then turn the camera off, boop. All right, so if you're someone who you switch back and forth between apps, uh, take a picture, take a phone call, upload a video back to another app, your phone is gonna feel crisper, snappier. It's going to be faster by making these changes. All right, if you make the changes and you like how your phone runs, leave, leave a comment. Leave a comment that you like how your phone runs now. Now, if you, if you don't like how it runs, let's go change them back. All right, let's go back into settings, go to the very bottom, developer options, scroll way down without accidentally touching anything. We're looking for drawing. There's input. Oh, did I pass it? Yeah, there we are. Drawing, Windows Animation Scale Transition Animator. All I have to do is t put them back to 1x. Touch, choose 1x, touch, choose 1x. Make sure they're all 1x, 1x, 1x. We're good. Now, to be extra safe, we can just turn the developer options off. And then when we back out and we go to inside settings menu, developer options don't even show up. And you have to do the same process over to turn them back on if you down the road want to change that back. And that's it. Those are two ways how to make your Samsung Galaxy A03S run faster. Hey, if this has helped you, please like, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.